Hi, class. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. I hear you. Okay. Okay, sorry guys, I was having some technical problems, um, but I, th I think you can. All right guys, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, yes. good. Okay, good. Um, sorry, guys, I'm, I'm there's some some technical difficulties right now. I think it has to do with my internet, but um, but I hope everybody can hear me right now. All right. Um, sorry, guys. Um, well, welcome everybody. How are you doing today? Good. Yeah. Everything is good. Okay, good. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. Um, all right, excellent. Um, well, anyways, I do apologize, guys, because I think there's some some sort of difficulty there with the internet. But uh, but if you can hear me, that's the important thing. Okay. Um, all right. So welcome everybody. Um, how was your How was your day today? Was fine. Hi. It was a good day. So far, yeah. so good. Good, good. I'm, I'm happy to hear that. I'm happy that everybody has had a wonderful day. And how was your weekend? Anybody did anything interesting? Anything excited? No, there was nothing exciting, nothing interesting. Oh, okay. All right. So I guess nothing. Okay. Well, anyways, um, let me introduce myself. Um, eh, before anything, like I, I introduced myself a little bit um, in the WhatsApp group. Before anything, everybody has joined the WhatsApp group. Is everybody in the group? Yes, I. Yes, I do. Yes. Yes, teacher. Is anybody not in the WhatsApp group? Yes. Okay, so I understand then that everybody is in the WhatsApp. I am in the was. Okay, good. Excellent. That's the important thing. Okay. All right, good. Because uh, through the WhatsApp group, we are going to be um, we're going to be able to talk to each other, ask any questions. Uh, we will be able to um, help you with um, any any problems with the with the the platform, and um, uh, have you up to date with all the information that you need to know. Okay, so that so that will be our um, our way of communicating. So it's important that everybody is able to. Uh, to connect to the WhatsApp group, okay? All right, um, well, first of all, let me say hello to everybody and welcome, say, let me say welcome to everybody. Um, thank you for joining the class. It's, um, it's been a, a great pleasure to uh, be able to meet you. How many students normally connect to, the, to, the, to this course? Uh, teacher, oh. your, your microphone is turned off. You, you can't hear me right now? Yes. Must your microphone turn off and turn on? Okay, okay, there we go. All right. Um, so, no, I was asking how many people um, normally are connecting to this to this level? I don't know. 
like like normally like in in the in the previous class in, in the previous course how many people were connecting do you remember oh, yes. i don't remember exactly but uh, around eight Oh, around almost uh, 16 12. or 17. Right. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, all right. So just reminder, guys, that it's very important that you um, that you do connect right to the classes because this is the opportunity that you have um, to be able to practice your English and everything. Right. That's that's really really important um, to be able to uh to have everybody um in the groups um and participating right because what we do in this course is we try to um get you guys to participate as much as possible right um to be able to um and to practice your english right and i think i i recognize some of you guys um that are connected not everybody has their their um or better said nobody has their camera turned on but um but i do recognize some of your names so that's great um so that that's wonderful but um there are some people that i don't i think i that it's the first time i have seen you guys so we'll get a chance to get to know each other but yes the idea with this is to be able to work um with like a groups our our whatsapp groups uh, sorry with our our group um, as a class and work in smaller groups. Um, that way you are able to um, to get the most practice possible, right? Okay, guys, um, so first of all, the first thing I want to know um, is everybody's um, a link, are the links working for everybody? Yes. 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 Okay, so that's the first thing you guys got to make sure. You got to make sure that um, that your you are uh, that your links are working, right? So all of the the links for like the the WhatsApp, for the YouTube playlist, uh, for the URL, for the uh, meeting, everything should be working. Okay, so that's the first thing that's very important. And the second thing that it's very important um, that you that you make sure is that you have access to the platform. Has everybody checked their access to the platform? Yes, everything is good. Yes. Yes. That's all right. Okay, good. Good, good. Um, because it is important that you have that access to the to the platform. If you do not have the access to the platform, then um, you need to tell me so that we can fix that. Uh, because it's very important. Remember that the platform is 80%, right? 80% of your, um, uh, you need to have better said 80% for you to be able to pass to the next course. So that means that we have to make sure that we understand everything, okay? Yeah? yeah. All right, any questions about the platform? No questions. No questions. Oh, sure. I don't have. No, I don't. No question. No question. Uh, sure. Everything is it's okay. Okay, wonderful. I'm glad to hear that. Um, it's very important to uh, make sure that you you understand how to work the platform and um, that you don't have any problems with it. Okay, um, so anyways, um, class, the very first thing what, the, what we're going to be doing is um, I want you to right now, um, I want you to write in the chat, I want you to write down all of the phrasal verbs that you know and when i'm talking about phrasal verbs i mean verbs that have two parts to them uh for example um let's say that we have a like verb verbs that are very common like pick up for example pick up or wake up get up 
etc 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 okay so i want you to write in the chat all of the verbs that you know that have two parts to them okay two parts we need to write in the chat teacher right you can write in the chat Micrófono, teacher. Tiene silenciado el micrófono. Okay, sorry. Um, all right. So I can see that some people um, have written some. Are those the only ones that you know? Or do you know any more? I don't know any more. I can't remember. Sorry? I can't remember. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. All right. Well, whatever you remember, that's okay. All right. Good. Excellent. Let's talk about them. We have we have quite a few. Let's we I think we have enough to be able to talk about them. Okay, so the first one we have is stand up. Who knows what means stand up? Stand up. When, when, do, when you are sit, the positive stand up. Right, exactly. So stand up means to be in a vertical position, right? Okay, that's stand up. Good, excellent. All right, turn off. What does it mean to turn off? Turn off. Uh-huh, what does it mean turn yes. off? Is, is, is when the radio sound and turn off, it's a, a silent. Okay, good. To be silent. Uh huh. Okay. Another idea? The opposite of tour, tour, of on. Very good. The opposite of turn on. Very good. So basically, turn off means that the power does is the power of a certain object like there is no energy for that object right so um that the energy of that whether it comes from the electrical energy or batteries it um does not there's it doesn't exist right okay so there is no energy coming to make the power on okay good excellent all right Jump around. What does it mean to jump around? Anybody know? Jump around. No ideas? Okay, no worries. I will help no you. Okay, 
I'll help you around. Then jump around is like, okay, you understand the word jump, right? Jump is like boom, boom, right? Like, like a, like a, for example, a, a child, right? Child, children always love to be jumping. But jump around means to be jumping from one area to another area to another and going back and forth in all the different areas. That's jump around. Um, so, for example, children, um, you know, especially if they're young children, they love to jump around. That means that they are jumping in all the time um, in different areas. Or better said, so they're, they're jumping in the same area but in different places. Does that make sense? Yes. 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 Good. Excellent. All right. Okay. Um, then somebody had here the word give away. What do you understand by the word give away? Yeah, give away in Spanish is give away. Is give away uh, free pass. Yeah, it, it, it could be it could be in that context, right? But uh, what other idea could it be? Donut Jones. Mm. Sorry, could you repeat that, Manuel? Is Donut Jones? Did you say donation? Give it away. Is donation. Donation. Okay. Yes. Yeah. That. Yeah. That kind of has the same idea. Um, to give away means to um, to give something for free. That's give away. Some give something for free. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, for example, many times um, stores they give away a free product. For example, if you buy a certain product, you they give a free something free uh, for for buying that product. So they give it away. Okay. Uh, then we have the word get off. What do you what do you understand by the word get off? What do you understand by the word get off? Nobody have any idea what what, what it get off means? Uh, I don't know. Have an idea, but I have no idea. I, I can't say in English, but I can't. I need to study more. Okay, that's okay. All right, no problem. All right, so get off is something that we normally use to talk about like a moving vehicle, okay? For example, um, a bus, okay? Um, like a bus, if you get like, um, if, you are, if you are traveling by bus or you're traveling by train, or you're traveling by, um, what else? Train, bus, um, let me see, let me think of something. Um, could be, for example, a trolley, okay, a trolley, or a ferry, okay? So if you're traveling on something uh, and you're, you're transporting, you're, you're being transported there, and then you want to leave that place, then you get off, you get off. When you leave that uh, transportation, you get off. Does that make sense? Is the opposite yes, of get in? Um, no, it's not the opposite of get in. It's actually the opposite of get on. And I'm going to explain that in a moment. I will explain the difference between them in a moment. Is when is you when... leave in, is when you leave to destination? Um, it's when you leave the, the, the means of transportation, okay? So, but 
it's it's specifically when you are on a means of transportation where you are you have to walk inside of the transportation for example the bus you can walk inside the bus you can walk inside the train you can walk inside the ferry okay um, so whenever you can walk inside something and you leave that means of transportation then you can use the word get off does that make sense yes, yes. teacher i got it and teacher in, uh, sorry teacher i have a question yes Luis. Uh, and i can use uh, get get off when i ride a horse for example Get um get oh get off a of horse. Um, yes, it is possible. It's also yes, it's also possible to use it when you're talking about um something that you ride on, like you ride on a horse. You can ride on a motorcycle. If you ride something, you can also get off of it. Yes. Okay, thank you. But nor but for example, you cannot get off a taxi. Okay, or get off a car. You can't do that. And the reason is because you are not right. You cannot ride a taxi or a car. You don't ride it. You 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 drive it. Okay, or you you ride in it. And the other thing is that it's not a moving vehicle where you can walk really? inside of it. You can't be walking inside of the. Um, of the of the taxi or the car you you simply um enter the place and you sit down you cannot walk inside of a car or inside of a taxi okay so get off means when you're either in a vehicle where you can walk inside or you're you're um on a means of transportation where you ride it does that make sense for example, I can say I uh, right now I get off the the taxi. No, get off the taxi. No, like I said, with like taxi and cars, we cannot use get off. We it's not possible to use it because get off is only for when you're riding something like a bike or a horse or when you are enter something that you can walk inside okay and you cannot walk inside a taxi only in horse and bike horses and bikes yeah anything you can ride bikes yeah horse bike a uh, motorcycle Any other questions? Okay, good. Let's talk about wake up. What does it mean, wake up? I wake up every day at six o'clock. Good, good. Now, what does that mean? For me, wake up is the opposite of sleep, of being sleep. When you right. open your eyes in the morning and you realize that you are waking up. <laughs> right. You're so in the morning you or maybe not in the morning necessarily, sometimes in the middle of the night, you um you stop sleeping. If you stop sleeping, then you wake up. It's like they said it's the opposite. It's the opposite of sleep. So now it's different don't confuse wake up to get up because wake up means that you are not sleeping and get up means that you uh leave your bed and they are not the same thing sometimes you are you are awake right you wake up but you are still in bed and you don't get up for maybe like an hour later okay does that make sense Yes, yes. Teacher, I yes, have a question. Yes. Sure, go ahead. Uh, what is the difference uh, the wake and awake with it? 
Okay, wake up is the verb. Okay, wake up. To wake up is a verb. And awake is the adjective. Okay, so I can say, when I wake up, I am awake. Thanks, I got it. Does that make sense? Yes. 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 I am awake in this moment. Right? right, exactly. You are awake in this moment. I hope so. <laughs> yes, I, I hope you're all awake. <laughs> good. Exactly. You're awake in this moment. Uh-huh. Very good. Okay. All right. Next, we have the word run. Uh, sorry, run away. Do you understand what it means to run away? Run away. When need to... Need to uh, need to flee for you can use anything. I don't, yes, know if I, I don't know if it's correct, but uh, for me, run away. You use it when you are in danger, so you have to uh, run away or something like that. Uh, yes, you're right. Um, it is when you are in danger, you have to run away. Absolutely. Um, run away basically means that you are going in the opposite direction of something um, to get to be far, uh, to have a big distance. And the distance can be physically or emotionally, okay? So you can run away from someone emotionally too, right? In the sense that, for example, um, maybe you you, uh, you are like, I don't know, maybe you want to, have, like, okay, maybe somebody ha wants to have a relationship with you, okay? They want to be your boyfriend or they want to be girl your girlfriend, uh, but they're, maybe they're too possessive then they make you run away from them like and not physically you're not running away from physically but emotionally you are so running away means to be try to put a distance between two people or two things does that make sense yes any questions guys no 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 question to share. No, no questions at all? Another example, please. Sure. Sure, of course. Um, now, uh, we can also have run away physically. For example, um, mm, whenever, when I was a child uh, and I did something bad and I knew my mom was going to hit me, I would run away from her and she would run after me and catch me and then, you know, <laughs> then I would, I would have a discipline. But, um, but yes, we, I, as a child, we would run away from, uh, as a child, I would run away from my mother to not get a punishment. Does that make sense? is similar to escape right it's very similar to escape exactly for example why did you run away from me right exactly like and i like i told you you could like it, it could be physically run away from somebody or you can emotionally run away from somebody okay Okay, good. Then we have put on. What does it mean, put on? I think put on, you can use it for stuff for you on or when you are putting something in another place. Uh, for example, you put in your cell phone on the table or you are putting your teacher. I think you can use it both. 
Exactly, um, so that's exactly what I was going to explain. You're, you're right on it. Um, so if we can say um, put on, meaning to place something on your body, okay? So for example, when you leave the house, you have to put on your mask, right? You know, your mask for because of COVID, right? You, you have to make sure that you, when you leave your house, you always put on the mask, right? It means that you place it on your body, okay? That's one of the meanings of place put, uh, of, uh, put on. Another meaning of put on means um, to, to, move, um, to move an object onto the surface of another thing. For example, she, um, uh, Gisela, you, you said, um, I put my, my cell phone on the table, for example. So it means that you place the cell phone and you put it, you, you put it on the surface of the table. Does that make sense? Yes, I got it. Yes. Okay, good. And we just have two more. We have uh, the word pass away. What does it mean to pass away? When you, when someone died. Exactly, it means to die, right? But it's a, it sounds, a, it to pass away sounds a little bit like more sense, like it's being more sense, sens sensitive to the person's feelings. It, it, it doesn't sound so harsh as in die, right? So it's, if you want to say, um, you know, if you want to be very sensitive to the emotions of somebody, you would say, uh, you know, fulanito passed away instead of saying fulanito died. Does that make sense? Yes, no. Yes. Yeah, any questions? Okay, fine. And finally, the last one is look up. What does it mean to look up? Please help me to look the keys. And when you lose a, an object, look up. Um, that would be look for. Look for. But this one is look up. Look up is to look at something. Any, any other ideas? I don't know if I'm, I'm correct, but I thought that look up is the same thing that you say that you are searching for. Or, yeah, kind of, that you are, you can say like, I'm, I'm look up for my books. I don't know if you can use it like that. Okay, all right, that's a very good question. Um, the word look up does mean to search, but it's not to search um, like literally. What it means is to search on a reference. So the reference could be the internet, that could, that could be an, an, a reference, or it can be a dictionary, for example. So, for example, you can, if you don't understand a word, you can look the word up in the dictionary. So it means you can find the word, you can search for the word in the dictionary. So it's, you're using a resource. And another way, like, we can also, like, look up the word on the internet. You can Google it, right? So you, you type it in the, the computer, you Google it, and that also means to look up. Does that make sense? Yes. Um, I is, understand. Is to find ubication. Sorry, could you repeat that, Rioberto? 
Yes. Is to find ubication in the map. Ah, uh, the location. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, you can also look up the, the location. Yeah, you can um, look up on a location. So it means to search. But basically, what it means is to um to search for something in a in a certain resource. Um, like like a dictionary or the internet or any place where um, there's like um, some sort of resource where there you can find information. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's to find information. Right. It's to find information in a in a resource. Ah, okay, okay. Any other questions? No, teacher. Oh, okay, wonderful. All right, so that's the end of the list that you guys gave me. That's a wonderful list. Very, very, I love those. I love the phrasal verbs that you use because many of them are um, not like the most common phrasal verbs that you use there um, there there was a mix of different things and I really enjoyed that so that was wonderful now phrasal verbs are something that is very very common in English uh, for native speakers we use a lot of phrasal verbs um, we use the phrasal verbs um, in a usually in a more informal way Normally, phrasal verbs have a more formal word. For example, look up, a formal word would be search, right? So search. Um, or for example, um, pass away, die, right? Uh, but like I said, it, the phrasal verbs are normally used because they sound a little more polite or they sound more a little bit more informal, so you would hear you would hear them more in informal speech. Okay. Now, phrasal verbs are always composed of two parts, which is one the verb, and the second one is the particle. Okay. Uh -huh. So the particle is the 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 particle of the phrasal verb is what we is basically the preposition. Okay, so one verb can have many different prepositions, right? Like uh, we just to give you an example, get. Let's use the verb get. We can say get on, get off, get in, get out, get um, get up, get down, get into, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? So there are many. In fact, there was something I wanted to mention. I, I told I just. I remember that I told you uh, a few minutes ago that I was going to explain. When I told you that get on, no, sorry, sorry. I told you that get off and get on are used when with a vehicle that um, you can walk inside, like a train or a bus or, um, oh, like a, 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 an airplane as well. You can get on or you can get off the airplane. Or, for example, things that you ride, like a horse or a motorcycle or a bike, okay? But with things where you can, when you enter and you just sit down, for example, a car or a taxi, um, what else? Um, could be, for example, um, like a... Mm, like a motor taxi could also be for a motor taxi, okay? Yeah. So all of those things where you cannot enter it and you don't ride it, we use get on, not get, sorry, 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 my mistake. You say get in, not get on, okay? So you get in a taxi, you get in the car, you get in the motor taxi. Get on. Yes. Use a classroom. Sorry, get could on. you repeat that? Get on to classroom. Oh no, that would be get in. Get in. Uh huh. But because in that in in that case, it's not a vehicle. It's not a transportation. 
Yeah. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, and then with um, the opposite of get in would be get out, right? So you get in a taxi, a taxi, and you get out of a taxi. Okay. So like I said, the word get can have many different uh, prepositions or 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 particles, right? We can have get on, get in, get out, get off, get up, get down, get onto, um, you know there's there's a, an infinite amount and depending on the particle it's going to change the meaning okay so don't think that for example um pass pass away just if you just have the word pass pass means one thing pass away means a completely different thing does that make sense yes Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now, I'm going to sign you into small groups, okay? Uh, we're going to get into, uh, yeah, the very small groups, and I want you to create a conversation, okay? The conversation is going to include, um, I would say nine, nine phrasal verbs. And that means, because I'm gonna have you guys working in groups of three, so that means that each person is going to be using at least three phrasal verbs, which is really not that much. So the whole conversation is going to be nine phrasal verbs, but individually, everybody's going to be using like three. Okay, is that good? Is that okay? Okay. Okay, so you can use the phrasal verbs that we've talked about today, the ones that are in the chat, or if you prefer, you can use another one. That's all right, okay? So right now, I'm going to get you guys to, um, I'm gonna divide you into the, into the different groups. Sorry guys, um, I don't know, for some reason I'm having trouble find, finding this. Just give me a moment. Okay, sorry guys, for some reason, I, I don't know why, but for some reason, I can't, um, it seems like there's a problem with the, with the Zoom, um, with the uh, breakout rooms. So, uh, we're going to change a little bit the dynamic there, and instead, what I'm going to ask you to do is create three sentences using phrasal verbs, okay? And then we're going to be sharing it as a class, all right? Okay, so right now in your notebook, I want you to create three sentences using phrasal verbs. And they can be in any tense, right? So it can be in the present, in the past, in the future, whatever you prefer. Or in the, in the progressive form, perfect form, doesn't matter. Three sentences. Yeah, three sentences. Using the idioms. Using the phrasal verbs. Yeah, you can use phrasal verbs that are in the um, in the chat, or you can use a different one. It's up to you.
And if you have any questions, you can let me know. I will be more than happy to help you. Go out is a phrase out there, right? Go out? Yes. Yes, it's a phrase out there. You need to write the sentence in the chat. If I say I go out from my home, I say salí de mi casa. Sorry, could you repeat that? I go out from my home. Um. Yeah. You. Yeah. I go out from your home. Um. Yeah. That's fast. That's possible. But I, I can say only I go out, right? Yeah, that's possible too. Just say I go out. But I go out, um, it's very unspecific. Like, um, it's kind of like saying I eat, right? I could, I, the, 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 if I just say I eat, that's okay. I mean, the, the, the sentence is complete and it's correct. But if I just say I eat, there's really like no point unless um, you say like, oh, I eat, um, I don't know, a lot of pupusas, something like that, right? Then it would like the compliment is kind of necessary. Okay. And so if you just say I go out, sure, that's okay. But it kind of makes more sense if you add a little bit more information. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Right. In January, the company that I work for moving to another building. That is correct. Sorry, just so that, could you repeat the sentence? In January, the company that I work for moved into another building. Oh, okay. Um, all right, but there, there's no phrasal verb. That is not a phrasal phrase. Yes, I do understand that you have the word work for, uh, but um, mm, let me think. You see it moving. You see it moving. The thing I is, write, I write in January, the company that I work for moved into another building. But I don't know if you can, if oh, I can use Oh, move it. in. You're talking about yes, move yes. in. Yes. Oh, yeah. In that case, yes. If you're, if you're using the word move in, yes, that, that, that'd be okay. Because move in is a phrasal verb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Teacher. Yeah. I can say I look up the word in the dictionary. 
Right. Actually, the, what I'm going to do right now in this moment, I'm going to go um, through each one of you and I'm going to ask you if you can share your sentences right now. So we're all going to have an opportunity of, of sharing the sentences. OK, are we all ready? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes. <laughs> OK, let's start with um, let's start with uh, Rigoberto. Could you give me your three sentences? I'm doing right now. Sorry? I am doing right now. Oh, you're not finished? No, I'm not finished. Okay, no problem. We'll go on to the next person then. Um, how about Josue? Okay, let me see. I go out from my home to see my friends, but the bus was full, so I couldn't get on. Then I come back to my home. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so you put in the, in the whole, in the, all the sentences, you put the three. That's great. Excellent. Very, very good. Excellent, Josue. Thanks. Okay, Thanks. good. All right, let's go now to Luis Fernando. Let's hear Luis Fernando's sentences. Okay, teacher. I wake up at 7 a.m. and I get up at 7 and a half a.m. I turn off the TV at 10 p.m. And when you see a beer, run away. Okay, very good. Good, very good. Excellent. Okay, um, the use of the phrasal verbs is wonderful. I you 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 did it very good, Luis. Just a reminder um, that with the time you say seven o'clock and 730 don't don't say it's seven and a half seven and a half the time seven and a half does not exist you just say 730 seven. um be, seven, seven and a half is used for example for um, a size like a shoe size what size are what shoe size are you i'm a seven and a half that's okay but um with the time you would say 30 7.30. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's listen to Judith. I have only one, yeah? Today- okay. One sentence, okay. Today I woke up very early. Wake, woke up in the past. Very good, okay, excellent. So yes, the we you, it, because it's in the past, you're going to conjugate the, uh, the 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 agreement that you're going to be doing is with wake, not with up. You're going to do it with wake. So the passive wake is woke. So woke up. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, by the way, um, Judith, I just remembered right now. I saw that you were asking about um, the WhatsApp group. Um, so. Uh, let me tell you that um, I, I, I'm not the one that's going to add you. Instead, in the in the email that you received from from me from Inglés Corporativo, there there was lots of different links in the email. I don't know if you noticed. Yes. Okay. Good. One of those links is from the WhatsApp. Okay. Uh -huh. So look for the one that says. Um, the link for the WhatsApp. You click on it, and then automatically, well, it will give you the option of opening the WhatsApp, and then it says join group, and you just automatically join, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Judith. Okay, all right, let's um, listen to now. Is it Nat, Nat, Natalie? Is that how you, it's pronounced, Natalie? Uh, Natalie, are you there? Mu Muñoz? Oh, 
Okay, maybe she, uh, maybe Natalie's having trouble. Okay, um, let me. Well, well, um, Natalie maybe uh, works out the 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 microphone issue or whatever issue she's having. Let's listen to Roxana because I I can see that okay. Roxana has her uh, hand up. I don't lie. Do you listen to me? Yes. Yes, I can hear Bye -bye. you. Okay, I would like to uh, share a uh, two phrases verb with you. Uh, for oh, example, what? one of them is work out. And work out to means to exercise. And in my case, I always work out in the afternoon. And another is um, hang out. That means to spend time with someone. And for example, do you want to hang out with me later today? Wonderful. <laughs> All right. Very, very good, Roxana. Excellent. Um, and thank you, Roxana, for adding two more phrasal verbs to our list. Very good. So work out means to exercise. exercise. And, hang, yeah, yeah. and hang out means what was that, Roxana? What does it mean? To spend time with someone. Exactly. Very, very good. Okay. Excellent. Okay. And hang out, even though that has the word out, doesn't mean that you're going to be going outside. You can hang out with somebody inside of your house. Okay. Yeah. Good. Excellent. All right. Um, Natalie, are you able to turn on the microphone now? Okay, all right, we're gonna go to the next person then. Olympia. So sorry, um, I have problem uh, internet. Oh, it's okay, I understand, trust me, I understand. <laughs> but um, is it possible for you to, to share your sentences? Olympia, can, can you share your sentences? I get off. Eh, I he tenido problema con el internet. Um, he tenido fallas. Okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's, let's go on then to Mauricio. Let's hear Mauricio. Yes, uh, my first sentence is, I look up the word in the dictionary. That's right. And right, the yeah. Sentence is, my children jumps around of the bed. And two, the three sentences is, you run, run away from my mind. You run away from what? From my mind. You run away from my mind. Wow. I can sing. That, that, I can that, sing. Okay. In, in a song. I don't know. <laughs> wow, that sounds very poetic. Uh -huh. I, I, I mean, it's not technically it's not incorrect, but it just sounds very poetic. Um, run away from my mind. Okay. Sure, I guess so. You could, yeah. Okay, just um, one more thing. Uh, what was the second sentence? Can you repeat? Yes, sir. Sure. Uh, my children jump around off the bed. Okay, good. That's very good. Yeah, jump around is fine. Just make sure that you jump around on the bed. On the bed. Right. Sobre. Okay. Sobre la cama, okay? On the yeah, bed. so that's right. Thanks, teacher. Teacher, I can't hear. Roger, can you hear us? Okay. Um, 
how did a div green? Sorry, can you repeat that? How did the div get in? Okay, very good. All right, next one. Um, only that. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, but that's good. That's a very good one. Okay, excellent. Okay. All right, let's listen to Manuel. No, teacher. Uh, my version is store of the light in the room. Uh, my dog passed away. I stick to a better life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Only t-shirt. Okay, very good. All right, I like I like that one. That the dog passed to a better life. Okay, all right, interesting. Good. All right, and Gisela. Uh, the second one that I made is in the morning, I went to my work and I forget a paper in my home. So I need, I come back. I don't know if I can use it, come back that uh, phrase of phrase. Yes, you can. Just uh, remember that it's because in the, it's in the past, it's not, come back, back it would be back, came back. Came back. exactly came back but yes that's correct okay very good excellent all right are those is that it Gisela I only made two the first that I faced before and this one Okay, good. All right. Okay, and let's just hear Rigoberto. The Rigoberto um, didn't share at the beginning. So if you can, can share with us now, Rigoberto. Can you hear us, Rigoberto? Yes, I can hear. I'm sorry. I am a look at the it's okay. Acetaminophen because I have a headache. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Okay, I, I hope you feel better. I hope that the acetaminophen helps. Thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. All right, so I think then that would be all. Okay, good. Any questions at this moment about phrasal verbs? No. No teacher. <laughs> there are, oh, the problem is there are a lot of phrasal verbs. It's difficult to remember all of them. But I hear about the, the United, in the United States, the, the people use, uh, when, when they speak, they use a lot of phrasal verb, and it's important to learn about that, I think. Absolutely, Roxana, I totally agree. Um, yes, like I was saying, native speakers, we use a lot of phrasal verbs because that is like more of an informal way of speaking, and that's like, not, not maybe informal, but it's more of an everyday speech, okay? It's not, you don't use phrasal verbs very much in academic writing, not very, it's not very common, but definitely in everyday speech, you use it a lot. So yes, it's very important to learn them. Now, are you going to learn all of the phrasal verbs? No. And I'll tell you why you can't, well, why it's a very bad idea to obsess in learning all the phrasal verbs. And it's because in English, in the English language, there are more than 3,800 phrasal verbs. 3,000? Yes. Wow. That's a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. You better believe that's a lot. That's why there, there are even phrasal verb dictionaries because there are so many phrasal verbs and 
Phrasal verbs do not have just one meaning. Many times they have more than one meaning. Like uh, when we were, we talked about the word um, eh, run away, right? We said that run away can have many meanings depending on if you know, you're talking about physically or more of a figurative speech, right? So yeah, there are different things. And so you're not going to learn all of it. So do not obsess about learning them all. What you do have to uh, do is try to um, learn the most common ones and try to get familiar with it and use okay. it as much as possible. Okay, so when, you, when my suggestion is when you learn a new phrasal verb, try to use it as much as possible. The more you use it, the easier you, you will, the easiest it will be to, oh, it, sorry, the easier it will be for you to uh, remember what the meaning is and remember how to use it. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, guys and girls, uh, we're going to finish there. We're going to stop there today. And um, that will be all for for today. I will see you tomorrow. Uh, remember, class, it is very important for you to be in class. And the reason is because in class we have the chance to participate and get the speaking part. Remember that in the platform you only get to do um, you know, reading, writing, and listening, but there's no speaking part, right? The platform doesn't tell you, yes, you're pronouncing it correctly, or no, you're not pronouncing it correctly, or yes, you need to work more on this because this doesn't make sense. But that's why that's why the complement is the classes. So you, it's very important for you to be in class, okay, as much as possible. So guys, that will be all for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. If there are no other questions that you have for me. Uh, I have a, a question. And uh, the next class is the same ID and password for the meeting. Like, uh, yes, yes. No, no, no. Right, the, 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 for the next meeting, you will have the exact same information that you had today. It doesn't change. Everything okay, is okay. exactly the same, okay? And hopefully for tomorrow, I won't have any um, internet problems I'll be able to connect on time so I'm very sorry about that guys I, I I connected but you obviously couldn't hear me because there was some internet problems but but hopefully tomorrow everything will be okay all right so it's been great um, to meet you guys um, hopefully maybe later on I can see your faces because right now I just see the, your beautiful names but maybe later on we'll see your faces okay all right guys take care have a wonderful um, evening and um, rest and hopefully we'll see each other tomorrow thank you see you tomorrow see you tomorrow good night good night everyone see you tomorrow bye Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher.